Hello all my Kinvians and welcome to a new episode of Discovering Steven Universe. Today the episode I'm going to be watching is Buddy's Book, and from the preview image, uh, and actually I mentioned this at the end of the previous video, but uh, it seems that Jamie's making a return. So, you know, I have no idea what Buddy's Book could be, but Jamie's a pretty interesting character, so let's see what he brings to the show today. And let's get going in three, two, one, go. Aw, Midna left me. I'm sorry I'm being loud. Great job, parking lion. Eh, it's a little crooked. It's <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Erroneous paper about raccoons having heat vision. Raccoons have heat vision? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could look around while I get started. There's tons of stuff here I'm sure you'll love. It's the journal of first mate Buddy Budwick. Like the real thing? Who? Yeah. Jamie did a play about how Buddy helped the first mayor do it discover Beach City. There's even drawings of The play! Oh! Gosh, forget home. I'm dumb. Let's take it from the top. Yeah! Well, at the very least, very forgetful. Would the Jones have looked different back then? Yes, definitely. It was too. Now we're here to save you. All these tiny caves are here. Hey, buddy. Ah, God. This is Buddy speaking. Get out of my hole. <laughs> oh, Amethyst. It was the third crystal that you discovered on it. Well, uh, hmm. that is... Oh, uh, oh, dear. I haven't discovered a single thing on this map. Well, yeah, for humans. Following someone else's foot. People would see me and think, oh. Just some man wandering around. Oh my god. Not important at all. Definitely is the ancestor of Jamie. Joseph Sandcastle. Ha ha. As I expire, an angel and her. One, two, three. Several lions here for my soul. Several lions? I guess so. Oh wait, that there's a... It makes them new and special all hmm. over again for any reader to experience. She's looking at me, and he's looking. Oh God! And become. Hold the phone. Is that what he looked like? <laughs> we imagined him oh. way off. I kind of liked our version better. <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, he might still be an ancestor of Jamie. It's hard to say. <laughs> but holy crap, that was wow! Wow! Okay, so that was an unexpectedly really cool episode. I, <laughs> I I didn't expect much, but well, obviously I was wrong. Technically, Jamie wasn't in it. It was Buddy through the imagination of the kids. But um, but yeah, it was that was really cool and seeing. All those drawings of the different locations, I can't help but wonder if maybe, like, the stuff that they put into that book, if that, that was, um, I mean, it could just be superimposed through computer, but if those were maybe, like, original sketches for the different locations that we've seen throughout the history of this show, <clears throat> excuse me, and... It was really cool getting to revisit, even just momentarily, some of those old locations that we saw way back in Season 1. And I do kind of wonder how the heck uh, Buddy managed to make it across those floating islands. Uh, mainly because it takes a pretty hefty leap. <laughs> and... Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, it didn't look like he had, like, a grappling hook or anything, but I could be wrong. He did have, um, you know, a pack with him, so I'm sure it could just be a splain, <clears throat> a splain? Explained away, um, through some of that stuff. But, yeah, I, uh, it was really cool following along with that, and <laughs> the, um, the alternate versions of the Crystal Gems that the kids imagined were hilarious. <laughs> oh, I mean, obviously I don't have to explain it, you saw it, but... Yeah, those were, those were really cool, I really enjoyed the designs. Uh, and then... 
near the end. But first of all, again, I don't think we've seen the sandcastle before. I, I could be forgetting if we have. And if so, please let me know. But I'm curious what's actually in the sandcastle um, and if we'll actually get to see it at some point. But also, obviously, Rose. Rose was there and she met ja not Jamie, Buddy. And she had seven lions with her. Seven lions. And they were all regular colored. Not pink, like the lion we know. So this just sort of brings up my question from way back of number one, where did lion come from? I mean, I can only assume that maybe it's part of this pride of lions or it's like a child of one of them, but also what happened to, well, it was kind of hundreds of years ago, or it was a long, long time ago. So that would explain why none of those lions are there anymore but at the same time where did lion come from <laughs> is lion one of those lions ah -ha. oh this raises so many questions for me but yeah this was a fun episode i really really enjoyed it and yeah, I mean, what, what else can I say? It was, uh... It was a well-done episode. I, I honestly kind of hope that we get to see those imagined designs of the Crystal Gems again one day. Uh, but also, I, I want to know more now. I And I hope that some of the upcoming episodes are going to at least touch on where Lion comes from. Or rather, came from because I'm really intrigued by that now. <laughs> I'm going to say that as, as a theory, as a theory, that the lion we know is the cub of one, two of the seven lions that we saw in this episode. As to why he's pink and has the magic mane, I don't know. I mean, I can only assume that Rose was involved in some form, but that's going to be my theory, that our lion is the cub of one of, not just one, but two of those lions. That's the best guess I can give. But... That's all I have to say about this episode. I'm really interested to hear what you all have to say about this one, as well as what I've had to say, the reaction and all that. Uh, anything else you want to comment about in the comments down below, please do leave them. I'll do my best to uh, comment back if I can. Otherwise, I do... I, I pretty much always am able to read all the comments. And I promise to do my best to... If, I, if I've read your comment, I will do my best to, at the very least, like it so you will know that that happened. But <laughs> regardless, um, before I finish up this episode, if you are interested in watching more episodes like this, as well as my classic Doctor Who, regular Doctor Who, when it starts back up, and uh, really any other shows that I'm going to do on this channel, if you're interested in checking them out early, for as little as $1 a month over on the Patreon campaign, which there is a link to in the description down below, and at the end of this video, patreon.com slash poppakinmedia. Uh, for as little as $1 a month, you can get access to those early episodes as well as uh, uh, pretty much anything else I put up early and what I feel like. And sometimes exclusive updates. I don't know. It's still kind of a mishmash. But regardless, everyone, thank you so much for being here. I will see you down in the comments. And until next time for... I actually don't have it set up to show me the next episode. But until the next episode, I am Papa Ken, and I will see you in the next episode.